training of Syrian rebels to begin this spring, uh, the Pentagon says, Department of Defense. Now, I told you that's going to be a long time before we train up these 5,000 soldiers that they want here. The U.S. plan is to train 5,000 Syrian rebels, continue airstrikes against the Islamic State, and assist and train the Iraqi armed forces so as to attack the extremist forces which have occupied large areas of Syria and Iraq on two fronts. I hope you guys are understanding that it's not an easy thing to train up 5,000 uh, Syrian rebels. You know, it takes a lot of uh, it takes a lot of effort. You know, the logistics, the supplies, the weapons training, the advisors, the trainers. Plus, you gotta have security for them, for at their barracks. I mean, where they live, where they work. Uh, this is a, a very complex issue. So they said they have 300 uh, U.S. troops. So they need a lot more than uh, the 300 U.S. troops. But uh, luckily, they got the 82nd. Uh, Airborne coming in at the in here in a few weeks to Iraq, and uh, they'll be able to assist. But uh, I think they're gonna need a little more than that. But we'll see how how time goes and how this goes. But I think you need more soldiers than this because they are digging in now. The Islamic State and they're holding what they got. They might be losing a few villages here and there, but as far as the major cities, the mayor through affairs of northern Iraq, going into Jordan and going into Syria, they got a pretty good hold on those. And uh, I just wish that up there in uh, Mosul, they have some resistance fighters uh, organizing and uh, attacking the Islamic State. But uh, that's where we're at, folks. Uh, springtime is beginning of the training. I'm pretty sure the training probably lasts uh, maybe one month, a couple of months, whatever. And uh, and we'll see what happens. We'll see if they'll be ready. Just keep watching on this, folks. It's, it's just going to get more complex as 2015 rolls on. This is American Contractor. Uh, talk to you later.